crude oil started the week on a bearish note it is given a gap down and since then 88 levels have proven out to be a greater resistance it has seen a drop towards 82 forming the support levels at 82 try to retrace and close the week close to 85 levels now what to expect from crude oil next week which position you should take in order to profit trading crude we will see with the help of charts and indicators. first we'll try to find out what the candlesticks are saying then we'll add on the indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading strategy and critical levels so that you can profit watch till the end if you're new to the channel do subscribe the channel which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis and targets which i share for crude oil first with the asia and europe session next with the us session do watch and yes your every like share comment is a great motivation for me to do like share subscribe and comment let's start first let's have a look at the four hour charts if you divide the charts on the in the two half you will find yes there is a greater support is seen at 83 and since then we can see higher lows are getting created on the four hour charts there is a barrier at 85.5 which it has breached and try to move bullish yes if the price is stays above 86 certainly more bullish momentum can be seen earlier in earlier next week where the prices might retrace towards 86 plus plus level but i have always maintained two levels here 86 87.6 and 88 beyond 86 these are the levels which needs to be bridge passed by if oil is seen trading above 88 certainly you can say that the prices are going to now go past 90 and in fact 92 levels as well thus next week is going to remain crucial and the resistance at 87.6 and 88 are going to be critical here now this is on the four hour charts yet yes it is consolidating yes it is trying to reverse i will definitely wait for a breakout now coming to the day on the daily charts one must note that see this was the highest then a sharp drop reversal sign and since then higher lows then the retracement here again higher lows and it is trying to so here lower highs then higher lows so it is trying to consolidate yes the zone at 88 is going to remain critical for the coming week what is happening right now after the reversal we can see it yielding higher lows and higher highs and it is trying to trade in this retracement channel now if you look at the drop was sharper it is in the retracement zone it is not a complete reversal unless and until it breaks past beyond 92 levels the top of this channel is now at 92 92.4 levels yes only and only if prices stays above the zone you can say that the oil is staying bullish now also one must note what has happened after four red candles it is consolidating here with higher lows and see uh, yes the greener candles are here higher highs are here however the closing of this candle is below the resistance at 85 85.5 thus i will wait for a breakout above 85.5 and then 86 levels this is the first resistance zone then 87.6 and 88 this is the second zone higher lows here lower highs a breakout is certainly going to bring a stronger momentum now look at the downside if you look at see these three candles you can see a yielding higher lows here suggest that the prices are not willing to stay bearish but at the same time it highlights one point that if it breaks out beyond 83 dollar levels any point of time we can say that the bears are taking over and breaking below 82 do not think of staying long in crude oil we are going to look at a price below 80 dollar levels yes if it stays below 82 you can say that we are looking forward to a breakout here out of this retracement channel and this breakout is going to be a strong now this is on the daily charts remember four red candles consolidation the direction which it takes in the first couple of days is going to be the direction for a little while uh up above, above 88 certainly should be a clear indication that the prices are going to achieve further highs coming to the week now look at the weekly charts here see first of all a reversal sign then a massive red candle couple of retracement then again a bearish candle now this bearish candle is important because see it is still not breached the lows of preceding two candles here yes it stayed bearish however it is still yielding higher lows suggests that there is inherent bullishness here which prices are not willing to break on the downs and if you look at see uh, what has happened since it has started to rise here rise retracement rise retracement and consistently yielding higher lows higher highs here so i will definitely watch out for 83 82 zone next week any drop below this zone should bring bearishness and see the strongest support here at 8078 which is going to still remain the strongest one but right now 
I, I still see this is consolidation. A specific breakout above 88 should be a sign that it is going to rise further highs. Then we can look forward to movement above 90, 92. Now let's have a look at the monthly. Now see on the monthly charts, after staying bullish for three to four months after showing a reversal, this is the first red candle which oil is showing here. Now only two trading sessions are left. And if it has to turn green, it has to almost cover five dollars of which makes almost six percent from the current levels and in next two sessions which appears to be difficult but nothing is impossible here yes right now the candle is in red what it has formed is lower highs lower lows and it is trying to create a flag formation for oil hence maybe next month also it can try to stay bearish with the within the flag yes and that is why the closing of this candle remains important. I do see a closing somewhere here between uh, 88, 87 levels for a couple of days. We may see little bullishness, but not a complete reversal. I do not see it staying above 90. However, the next candle or the next trading sessions are going to remain important. If with the next candle prices move above 90 and then 92 zone, consider that it is going to break highs here. It is going to fly high and we are looking at 95 and 100 dollar level. So yes, the first four trading session of the month and where the price is, if you look at staying above 90, 92 zone, certainly consider this for a reversal. So next week is going to be critical for crude oil in terms of it can become a decisive factor for oils for the price movement. Now coming to the, if you look at the indicators, moving averages are trading with divergence one over other staying bullish yes prices were divergent from 20 period it has precisely taken the support from the 20 period so far and it is staying above the 20 period moving average look at the stock elastic this has reached to the overbought levels and that is why we can see a red candle here it is trying to cool down this suggests that yes in the coming few months or coming couple of candles might remain red that is why i am saying that next couple of days it might not break beyond 90 stay close the month at uh, in red and then the next monthly candle also to stay bearish where we can see a range bound movement at worst if it tries to drop 78 80 zones should provide a good support and that will also cool down the stochastic for the next one but the important part here is from the MACD on oil now MACD is still suggestive of bullishness and I do see forthcoming months to stay bullish this is very very important look at the waves here first wave second wave is done it is converging it has to cross over this crossover should be there in order to begin the third wave here see these two waves classical waves here on MACD and it is yielding higher lows higher highs precisely it is trying to cross over from the bottom of this thus this crossover is going to be important I will definitely watch out for where this candle closes and any move above 92 in the next monthly candle should be a sign that oil is now bound to achieve higher highs here it can in fact breach past 100 and 120 dollar levels in the near future but this is see this is the waves which i am talking about certainly it is looking forward to a further rise in the coming months rsi comfortable coming to the weekly now look at the weekly charts why there was a conversion of price see the crossover here between the moving averages prices were divergent from the moving average it has converged it has taken the support from the 2050 period moving average these are still divergent this suggests that oil is still bullish here it is not bearish and the, as long as 80 dollars are respected so first is 82 and then 80 to 80 dollar levels this zone is going to remain completely important for and in fact as i said as long as 78 is respected i do not treat oil as bearish it is it should try to reverse it should try to rebound and we may see further bullishness there but next week it appears that it can possibly if it stays above 88 certainly more bullish momentum is seen a stock has dropped on the weekly chart see now on the weekly charts magni which was trading with extreme divergence had tried to converge here but it has not yet crossed over this is very very important it has not yet crossed over and it is coming from the bottom thus it has a further room for it to rise so monthly charts weekly charts suggest that yes in the next few weeks or in the mid term that is from three to six months there is a chance there is a probability that oil prices to achieve higher highs but for next week uh, we have to be watchful yes this is going to be a decisive week which direction it wants to take rsi looking down coming to the
Now look at daily charts. None of the candles close below 100 days average. This is important. Yes, the moving averages have converged here. These have also not yet crossed over. This is also equally important. Now the prices are staying between the 2050 100 days average. This is all. This is a zone which we needs to watch out for, and that is why I say 83 and 86 levels we have to be watchful, careful. A rise above 86 and then above 88 should certainly be a sign that prices are reversing. The stock is rising from the bottom. Magni is divergent and bearish. This is a sign which we need to watch out closely because see right now it is at sub zero level and it is nearby to zero line, so it has a room for it to stay downside, achieve the bottom before reversing. RSI comfort. So now we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators. Time for me to define the trading levels and strategies so that you can trade profitably next week. I am going to give you the critical levels which you should watch out for and the resistances and support levels. Everything is going to, I am going to provide and the strategy so that you can trade profitably. But before I give you the trading levels, if you want to learn this art of trading, the tools, techniques and strategies with the help of which you can trade profitably any index commodity or any instrument. You should join my mentorship batch. The 27th batch is going to start on 28th of November. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can register and book your seats by visiting my platform www.forexwanda.com. And this is the platform www.forexwanda. You will find this platform is created with the vision to provide everything required to a trader under one single roof, be it the economic calendar where the historical data, the current projection and the live market updates are available under the economic calendar. And this is from across the globe. Also, you can find out the live prices of your favorite instruments, be it stocks, Funds, futures, forex, CFD, crypto, indices, bonds, economy across the globe. Anything which is getting traded is available here. You can create your own charts. You can create your own analysis. Also, now, this forums page is very, very important where you find your like-minded traders. We can have a discussion. I am also available. You can look. Now, see, I have posted here that for the last trading session, one can buy at 84.6 and we can look forward to the resistance at 85.5. As long as 85.5 is respected, we should not treat this as bullish. And that is what has happened precisely. It has achieved the highs here and then reversed here and closed below 85. So, yes, under the, so under the section of forums, you can find out the summary, my post and everything we can discuss there. Yes, under the tab of announcement is where you will find the details of my mentorship batch. What and all I am going to teach. Yes, the registration form and the details are available here. You can register here, book and pay, pay and book your seat now itself. And yes, if you want to get any guidance from me, if you want to consult with me related to any of your trading related queries, be it your existing trading positions, be it a futuristic position which you want to take, in order to profit, you can have a, we can schedule a call, you can book your uh, call here and we can have a consultation on it. So do visit the page. The link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Now coming back to the prices where we should buy here. So first thing is, yes, if you see the price is staying above 85.2, you can buy first resistance at 85, 85.5, then at 86.1. If this is breach, then one can expect that we are looking forward to 86.8, 87.6 and then 88.1 level. Now remember couple of key levels. This is the zone which it needs to break past by in order to confirm for the rise. And this is the first resistance which it needs to break past by. This is critical and this is most critical for next week. Beyond this, I will look forward to $90 levels to be breached and beyond this I will expect 91.5, 92.4. Those who follow me for long must recall these levels. I have mentioned several times 91.5, 92.4 is the most important resistance zone beyond that 95 and 98 and in fact plus beyond 100 levels are also possible. I do not think so that this is going to get happen. This is going to happen next week but yes I am just giving you these levels. You can keep these levels for this complete month coming month. So yes be watchful of this. On the downside where to sell? I will recommend you to sell here at 84.5 levels. Be watchful of 84, 83.6 and 83. Now, this is the first support zone here at 83. Be careful of this. Then 
and then 82. This is the next level which you should watch out for. Below 82 is where the bears will take over. I will look forward to 81 and then in fact below 80 levels and then 78. Chances of oil breaking below 80 appears to be difficult in the coming week. And hence, we may see the range bound movement. And yes, a break below 80 should be taken up seriously where more bearishness is going to prevail there. I, I do expect it to rise rather and thus take your positions accordingly. Trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. These are markets. Do not go as per my expectation, but thus trade only as per the levels here. If you think that the first resistance is breeze, you can keep your stop loss there and move for the next resistance. Take your positions accordingly. Have a great profitable trading day and trading week. Do watch the daily updates do join my platform do join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries thank you very much